Hello ladies and happy, happy, happy Monday, Monday, June, Monday. Oh no, it's not Monday, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, June 2nd, 2015. I was actually supposed to post a video yesterday, but I didn't because the weather was all sorts of crazy and I had to go out and deliver those prom invitations that you saw in the last weekly vlog so i didn't have a chance to sit down and actually do a video but i hope that you are doing well you know i love mondays and the fact that monday was also june 1st which was the beginning of a new month was absolutely fantabulous for my life because i just love i don't know i love the start of a new week because it kind of gives you like a fresh start and then i absolutely love the beginning of a month because it gives you a fresh start i cannot believe that we're in june by the way because Time has flown, we only have six more months left of 2015. But today, I actually had a chance to run some errands. So uh -huh, maybe I'll go sit in the nursery. Yeah, maybe I'll do that once This is more comfortable. I'm actually just sitting in the nursery and I am to a corner because I think I've told you guys we've been working on doing different stuff in the nursery. And so I won't really be doing many videos in here because I want to keep it nice and special and a surprise. Um, but anyway, so I did get a chance to go out and run some errands, so I'll show you two clips from there. I didn't take the camera out while I was actually out walking around, and that's because it's been raining. It's been raining, 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 and raining some more. It rained today, it rained yesterday, it rained the day before yesterday, it rained the day before that. So it's been raining, and if you hear any noise, it's to squish it outside with the cars because of where I'm sitting. But yeah, so here are two clips from today. So I'm in Walgreens looking for a new prenatal pill if I can find it okay so these are the ones that I currently take these are the ones I'm considering and then that's the rest of the different ones well I'm considering this one a day one and I'm considering the central specialist one but I'll tell you the reason why I plan on changing later. And I am picking up these ovulation predictor strips here. And when I noticed this while I was here, this is different. I haven't seen this before. New design. First response, six days sooner. And it has a longer handle, apparently. It looks kind of like a spoon. It's quite interesting. I mean, I've always thought it was long enough, but hey. I picked up the ovulation test. And the reason why I picked those up is because I didn't have time to decide if I was going to order Wadafos or not. And Walgreens is the only store that I know of that actually just has the dipsticks. So this is what it looks like on the outside. It just says daily ovulation predictor. And then it has 20 test strips in there. And I'll give you like a closer look on what it looks like on the inside in a second. So that is what they look like. Just little dipsticks. It's a container that has like a little air shut top and it just holds all of the little dipsticks and there's 20 of them and then I went to buy prenatal pills now I do have prenatal pills as you saw in a little clip I showed you the ones that I currently am using but I changed them and I, oh let me tell you what I changed them to first so I did end up going with the Centrum Specialist prenatal thing about and these are actually two pills i have one that's just one pill currently um but these are two and they come in little packages like this the soft gel is the dha and the pink pill is the actual prenatal pill and so i don't mind taking two it doesn't really matter to me one or two and this is a better look at what the prenatal pills look like the pink one is the prenatal and again the soft gel is the dha but I changed the prenatal pill because it's really been bothering me. And not that the prenatal pill that I'm currently taking is bothering me in a way that it makes me sick or it has a nasty taste or anything like that. But I've been taking these prenatal pills for what seems like forever. Pretty much from the very beginning of my journey. And I just don't want to take them anymore. And it's going to sound like really weird and really odd, but the truth is I've been taking those prenatal pills from the beginning and I've been taking those prenatal pills from when I had my last two miscarriages and I was also taking those prenatal pills when I had my chemical pregnancy and so I just want something different. 
that's what it is i want something different you know how like some sometimes you know people get rid of them get rid of things because it has like a negative memory for them or has like a negative connotation or something like that that's the main reason why i'm getting rid of the prenatal pills that i've been taking these last couple months because um i don't know they're just they're just a reminder of unhappy things throughout my tdc journey and i just needed to rid myself of them and because they remind me of both of my previous pregnancies it just I just they just have to go that's the only way that i can explain it hopefully you understand what i'm saying so i'm happy to be starting a new fresh centrum specialist complete multivitamin prenatal with dha and folic acid um yeah fresh start new things new prenatal pills so i also had a chance to stop into whole foods today and i will show you a little bit about whole foods and then do like a little whole foods haul now I'm stopping by Whole Foods just to pick up some stuff. This is an upstairs, downstairs Whole Foods, so majority of the stuff is downstairs, but if you want stuff from like the bakery and all sorts of things, then you can get them up here. So these are blueberry muffins in a six pack, and they actually look very good. Then these are two different types of cheeses that have some really interesting names, so I'm not even gonna try to pronounce them. Then there's these mixed berry cereal bars strawberry cereal bars organic wheat square crackers and then this is a pack of 24 mini apple danishes then i have one mango two pluots oh, and two pharrell pears and the main stuff that i got was pretty much handheld breakfast items because me and my husband have two totally definitions on what breakfast is what i like for breakfast and what he likes for breakfast are two totally different things me i want the eggs i want the bacon i want the grits i want cream of wheat i want sausages i want pancakes I want, like i want all of that stuff my husband on the other hand he wants a cup of coffee and he wants something sweet so a cup of coffee and a donut a cup of coffee and a danish a cup of coffee and a pop tart a cup of coffee and a muffin so, like that is his whole entire breakfast thing so when i went to whole foods i ended up just picking up some handheld kind of stuff for breakfast for him so he can have it with his cup of coffee um and then last week i showed you that i had changed out the pop tarts because my husband happens to love pop tarts and we're trying to change over our whole eating thing to eating more organic stuff and so he ate some of them and then he ate some more and then the other day he was just like okay so i know this is gonna sound bad but those pop tarts they just taste too healthy i was like they what but they, they taste too healthy i was like okay they taste too healthy so we'll figure something else out so i got the cereal bars to see if maybe those will be better because they're not fully organic they have um the filling, I guess, is not organic, but the grains on the outside is organic. I don't know, but the point is, I got them because they look like a similar version of Pop-Tarts, but not really Pop-Tarts, and they have better ingredients in them, so we're going to see how that works out. And then I got two different fruits, a uh, pluot and some type of pear. And so what I'm trying to do is just eat different stuff that I've never tasted before. And I've never had a pluot before. My husband told me about them. That apparently, they were mixed between two different fruits or something like that. And then um, the pear, I just love the way the pear looked. And I usually just eat either Bosque pears, which are like a really brown color, or either the ones that's called like Dayanjo, Dayaju. Well, those are like a really green pear. So this one's different because it has a little red. And then the last two things you'll see are these cheeses. And they're in these little containers and I can't pronounce the names. It's like Campo del Menino and Kyle de... Just some names I can't pronounce. But my husband wants to broaden his horizons in the cheese department. And so Whole Foods has a very large assortment of different cheeses. So I just picked up two of the cheeses that he can try, and then I guess we'll just make a list of all the ones he likes and then go from there. But that was my Tuesday in the nutshell. I hope that you are having a great day. And um, I'll see you when I vlog next.
thinking of prego tests and ovulation tests and things of that nature, I'm going to go in here real quick and take tests. We're going to take a look at them and see what they're looking like now. If you missed it, my last HCG test was 17.8. So it should be going down and getting more negative. So I'm waiting for the pregnancy test to finish and the ovulation test is already finished. I don't know if you really can see it well, but there's like a really faint line. And so that's good because when you are pregnant, it usually shows very positive all the time. So the fact that it's negative is good because it gives me kind of like a baseline going forward. And we're still waiting here. And so there it is. It is finally negative. And so I don't know why my camera's doing that. It's a little kooky. But anyway, so I can officially start, you know, testing my ovulation to see if it will change from here on out. But it's officially negative. And OPK update. So this is my OPK as of, what's today? Is it June 3rd? Wednesday, June 3rd, as you can see, it's just about positive. I'm not very surprised because something very similar happened uh, last time after my miscarriage. <laughs> Burger bar, it's called Whole Burger. We're gonna have burgers for dinner today. And foolish me, remember my camera, but there's no memory card in there, so I have to use my cell phone. But I just picked up some groceries to add some things to make a video for today, so I'll do a little haul of that when I get home. In burger heaven, if you've never been to the burger bar or Whole Foods, you have to, because it's absolutely wonderful, 100% grass-fed beef, um, but that's their special sauce, and that's the ketchup, and that's the babes. That's my little ticket. At the doctor's office. Oh, good morning, and happy Friday, June 5th, 2015. And so, I haven't mentioned that I absolutely hate vlogging with my phone, but... My camera is dying and I don't know where the charger is and the thing about it is that since I've changed my charger from um, the one that you plug in to the one that you put the battery on and plug it into the wall I can never find it so now I have to find it but anyway I am out I am in Hoboken I am leaving the doctor's office it's about the crack of dawn it's about 7 15 and I have my blood drawn which was fun time because I'm about 100% sure that it is at zero which makes my life so happy. Other than that, now my blood drawing experience this morning was not very wonderful and that's the problem is broken part of And that's because, you know, when you get your blood drawn so much, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you've just done it too much on that one particular arm. So that happened with my left arm and I stopped using it. And then I started using the right one. But then this morning, it was ugh, ugh. That was a horrible experience. The right one was not cooperating. She was trying to get it to work. It was like going extremely slow. It was awful. So then we had to change it and we had to use the other one, which worked, thank God. But anyway, I'm heading home. Well, no, these are soon. So happy Sunday. I have some oil cooking up here and I'm going to make some dumplings. For the first time, dumplings frozen from our favorite dumpling place in Brooklyn. And so I'm going to do some frying of some. So that should be yummy, yummy, yummy. We have this favorite Brooklyn, favorite Brooklyn place. We have this favorite um, dumpling place in Brooklyn. And oh, let me tell you, they are awesome. Let me think of the name of it. It's like how is it your favorite place and you don't remember the name because it's really dumpling place I go to and I feel like it's something that's not really 
dumpling place name. I think it's like Melissa's or something like that, but it is scrumptious. And so for the first time we ordered the frozen ones, so I'm going to make some of those. We were snacking a lot today. Um, but what a week it has been. Let me tell you, it has been a week. Oh, maybe I'll sit down here in the living room since the light is on. It's been quite the interesting week for me. Okay, so you've probably seen by now my different OPKs and things like that. And up until today, the OPKs have been positive. Like, I've been taking little clips of them here or there. If I have some to show and I remember to put them in, then I'll put them in somewhere in here. But they've been positive. And so I was like, I must be, tri like, I must be tripping. This is crazy. So I took, like, a different brand of them. And it still was positive. And so I was like, if I go home tonight and this thing is positive, I, something is really crazy. Uh, so when I got home tonight, it actually was starting to get lighter and to get negative. So that's very interesting. Nonetheless, I don't really know that I am for 100% ovulating. And the reason why is because after miscarriage, your body does some kind of crazy wonky things. Um, so I'm just really evaluating what I think it is. So I haven't had a positive OPK based off of pregnancy. So basically, when you're pregnant, you have positive OPKs like the entire time. But uh, my OPK stopped being positive. You know what? Let me look for some info right quick. Mm. One second. So you know I've been taking... Um, the pregnancy test and the OPKs every day. So I've taken a pregnancy test once they got negative and I've continued to take the OPKs. So let's see, I almost got the... <sighs> but um, it's been a while since I've had a positive OPK from the pregnancy. So let me go back. All right, so the last day that I actually had a positive OPK based off of this past pregnancy with the miscarriage was on May 18th. Then they all of a sudden started to become positive this week on, I believe it was Wednesday. So Wednesday was positive, Thursday was positive, a little lighter um, positive, like it just like, matched the control line exactly. Um, and then Friday and Saturday, it was positive, but like dark positive. Like the line was popping up before the control line was popping up. And then Sunday, today, it just started to, you know, go back down some. So it's been quite the interesting thing. I don't know if I'm going to be entering to a two-week wait <laughs> or not, but I know that my body is doing very, a lot of different changes. Um, but it has, it has been at least at least two and a half weeks since I've had a positive OPK. So I would believe that it is a real positive OPK, but who knows? I guess we just gotta wait and see. But other than that, the week has been going wonderfully. I started to vlog yesterday and then I completely forgot. Like we were chilling out and relaxing and watching movies and eating snacks. Oh, I'll show you the, um, I got a little clip of the cheese platter my husband and I put together yesterday. So I'll show you a little bit of that now. The joys of living in an apartment building. So when someone, and it's probably going to go on again, but usually what happens is when someone is burning something in their kitchen or something and they forget and it gets real smoky in the apartment, then the whole entire building alarm system starts to go off. All the alarms in the hallways go off. I told you, the building's doors close, everything, so... The joys. Saturday afternoon snacking. The babe put together a very nice cheese and cracker platter for us. Those are the two weird cheeses I spoke to you about earlier in the vlog. We actually had tasted them on the first day and they are rather scrumptious. And then this one here is like a gourmet garlic and fine herbs cheese. And it's yum, yum, yummy. And these are the crackers that I hauled the other day. But just in case you're interested in this cheese that we love, this is the name of it. Porcelain, garlic, and fine herbs. And they have a bunch of other different flavors too. Do you remember any of them? No. Something with pepper and something else. We tried this one out first uh, and just to see if we'd like it. And we really do like it. We're more than halfway through our platter now. But I found the rest of the flavors that it comes in 
shallots and chives, pepper and red chili pepper. And so we're gonna try either red chili pepper next or shallots and chives. And I think it was like $5 or $6, I'm not sure. But it's a really nice size, it's pretty good. And now I'm gonna go check on that oil <laughs> so that I don't burn my house down. Yeah, it looks like they are cooking. And so there they are. I am waiting for them to dry. Um, to dry. <laughs> Not to dry, but you know, to let the excess grease off of them. So that's why there's that paper plate over there. Paper plate. Glass plate. Paper towel. Um, but yeah, so they're going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. I absolutely love them. And when I said that we bought the frozen ones, these are actually <clears throat> handmade at the place. And then they freeze them. It's not like, you know freezer section dumplings. These are handmade every day and then they freeze them. And so I cut one in half so you can see the chives and the pork. Yummy, yummy.